Okay, so I am super excited because this is my favorite time of the month, always. The end of the month is always the most fun for me because the most crazy things happen when you're pushing for a goal and so many customers come out of the woodworks and distributors and we're going to talk about what your goals are and like how to actually accomplish them, right? Because so many times we come up with these goals and we're like, hey, we're going to do this, we're going to do this. And then all of a sudden it's the end of the month and we're like, I didn't do anything that I wanted to do, right? Like I've been there so many times and I'm like, well, shoot, like I was so close and I didn't do it. So we're going to talk about all of those things. And I have a couple of things I want to um, tell you about that I want you to do, that I want to challenge you with. And I want to talk about like figuring out a goal because some of you, whether you're on live or watching the recording, you're new and you're like, I don't really know what a goal is, or I don't know what a goal should be. Well, I want to tell you, no matter what rank you are, no matter how long you've been in, whether you just started today, your goal should be to sign at least one more customer this month. If everyone signed at least one more customer, you're going to be so happy because you're going to go into the month feeling successful, feeling like you did something, right? Versus the end of the month just happening. And then you're like, okay, it's a new month and we're just here again, right? So first thing that I want you to do is I want you to start with one more customer. Then when you sign one more customer, I want you to go to, okay, I want to do four customers, right? Because that's a $50 bonus. Then once you do that, I want you to work on signing a distributor. And that's a hundred dollar bonus on top of that 50. So those are your goals. If you do not have a goal already set where like Vanessa's really close to Emerald or Joni and Braley are working on maintaining Ruby. Like unless you're working on a goal like that, I want your goal minimum to be start with one customer, then get to four, then go to the four and one, right? Um, so Lindsay, do you want to, I know you had a couple of things you wanted to talk about, I have like a challenge for them, um, but I wanted to pass it over to you right away. I unmuted you. Hi. Hi. Um, yeah. So Courtney and I were kind of talking a little bit today about the Zoom and some things um, she wanted to talk about. And I was actually, it went perfectly about some thoughts I was having. And I know like um, Erica, I've already talked to her about this, but um, last week I had like a leaders zoom with Lori, like the, uh, central region, regional. Um, and we were just talking about some different things and about different things we've done, like over the years, as we were in the business and, you know, being in this business for 10 years, I feel like I've done so many different things and I've like learned so many things. And I've like not done things that I wish I did do. And one of the things that we were talking about, like when we were talking about our goals was, like something whenever I was newer in the business and definitely building on like in working promotions and things like that um, was I was going to make do whatever I had to to make it happen. Like that was like my mindset. And honestly, it's still my mindset now. Um, but I was like it once I decided I was going to make a goal happen, it was like not an option to not make it happen. So if I would say, OK, we're going time in this month. I was going to make that happen and I was going to do whatever I had to do. And, you know, even like this month, I really wanted to complete a builder bonus. I was like, I'm going to do whatever I have to do to make it happen. And so what that would look like would be if I needed another distributor to be boxed in for Ruby, I was going to talk to every single person that I could that was close to me that I would say, hey, I'm working on a really big promotion or I'm working on a really big bonus this month. Can you do me a huge favor? Would you sign up with as a distributor? Like you don't have to do anything. I just need your uh, someone to do this with me. And I would even be like, you know, if anything, I'll get you some customers. I'll help you make some extra money to like pay that back. But be like, I need a favor. Like I need you to do this for me. And I can't tell you how many people would do it for me. Or even if I needed an order and I was like, hey, I need this, like this money orders or whatever. Can you please order something from me? Like I've asked my neighbors, I've asked, like I've signed my grandma up as a distributor who doesn't even have the internet. Like I took, because I knew in my head, like if I could get the chart filled up with distributors, I could get the customers. And I know you guys might be thinking, yeah, but like, why do you want to put someone on your team? That's not going to work. And you guys like, that's not what it's about. Like we're looking at big picture here. So, and I'm just going to use Ruby because it's easy to like talk about as an example, but say you were working on a Ruby, you need one more distributor to be boxed in. Say your other two legs, you're already executive. All you need is that one box left to go Ruby. You guys getting someone in that box 
signing the customers, that's going to be a huge jump in your paycheck. Okay. And here's what that's going to do for you. That's going to create excitement. You just hit a promotion. You get to share that. It's going to have excitement. You're going to have a, a huge paycheck coming in that you didn't expect when you joined because you joined and you were hoping to make like $50 and you didn't even think you were going to make that much, but that's going to create excitement. Then that's going to cause you to go out and share that excitement and be fired up. And you're going to bring people into this business that want to work this business. And you're going to be able to kind of fill in the holes and say, you know, you got your grandma to sign up because you just needed one more distributor. You can put someone under your grandma to help replace and build a working chart. But it was really one of those things that I was going to do. I was not going to miss out on, let's say, a $500 bonus because of one person. Like to me, that wasn't going to happen. I wasn't going to miss out even on a $350 bonus because I needed one more loyal customer. Like if the end of the month rolls around and you're missing even a 150 bonus because of one customer, you guys, like that should not be happening. Like to me, like that wasn't going to happen. Like I would sign up my dang cat if I would have to, but that's the kind of thing like we got, if we're setting goals and we're setting standards for ourselves, we cannot be okay with not reaching that. Like, and I understand if you're like, okay, I just joined and I'm a new distributor and I want to be a diamond and that didn't happen this month. Okay. That's kind of like a different scale, but I'm just even talking about like smaller scale of like, I want to complete my four and one this month. All I need left is my distributor. Okay. Well, who is that person that's going to always, that has always been for you, no matter what that you can count on that you can go to and say, Hey, I need a favor. This is what the favor is. And say, I need someone to sign up as a distributor. Like, this is going to be huge for me. It's going to help me get a huge bonus. And if you are like, well, I don't have anyone close to me that would do that. Okay. There's got to be someone, like I said, I talk to my neighbors. Like I have a neighbor that's really good friends with me. She's been a distributor for me. She's been a customer for me, but like, that's where I was at. Like for me, I wasn't going to let those things fall through the cracks because that was money that was going back into my pocket. That was excitement that was being created, you guys. And even if I had to say like, hey, grandma, can I sign you up as a customer? And when I get my bonus, I'm going to pay you back that $45 that you spent. And I get it. You might be saying, I think I don't have $45 to pay them back. Well, when you get your bonus, you're going to get that. You're going to pay it back. And then you're still going to come back with extra. And that's the way I was always thinking. Like I was always thinking about moving forward and rolling forward. And how am I going to create momentum? Okay. And you will see that it builds on itself every single month. And there's going to be a time where you're not going to do that anymore. You're going to be able to say people are just coming, but we're new. We're creating that excitement. We're creating that momentum, you guys. And I just wish like I could help you guys all understand like how like important that really is. And um, like, I don't know. So those were just things I was talking with that I was like, you know, that's something that like a mindset that I had and I still have that I would like want you guys should I want you guys to have that as well because once you start doing that you're going to notice that everything's just going to keep exploding and it's going to be like a chain reaction for like the next thing and the next thing and the next thing to happen I yeah know, and well what's really cool about that and what I I have always been the same way with goals and like Lindsay has said on zooms a million times and I've talked to a lot of people like when I set my mind on a goal where I'm like I'm doing this Lindsay has always said, like, I do crazy things. Like the amount of customers and volume and stuff that comes in is insane. And that's not because I'm so special and I'm so wonderful and I poop out rainbows and butterflies, but it's because I'm in a mindset of like, it's going to happen. And when you're in that mindset that you're like, nothing is stopping me, this is going to get done. You'd be shocked what happens. You'd be shocked how many people are like, Hey, I just want, I just saw your post and I wanted to order this. I had a girl today who ordered 111 BB. Do you know how many times I followed up with her? 42 times. Do you know how many, how many years she's been a customer or a potential? Four and a half. Four and a half years. And I didn't even message her. She just messaged me and she goes, Hey, can you order me those gummies? Heck yeah, I can. And then I upsold her twice because I need BB for our goal this month. But like, when you're in that mindset of like, this is getting done, people just start coming, right? Like Vanessa, you're working on Emerald. You had two customers today. That just, it just, once you're in that mindset of like, okay, we're getting this done, then things just start happening. So I want you guys to get into that mindset. And it's a different feeling when you're working in that faith of knowing that it's going to get done versus trying to see if you can do it, right? Like when Jamaica was announced, I literally never once blinked of the thought of, can I go? Am I going to make it? 
I literally asked Lindsay, I was like, so do you want to fly in that day or do you want to go to a hotel the day before? Or like, what are you doing? And she's like, it literally was announced like two seconds ago. What are you talking about? I was like, well, it's just like thinking because I, there was no question of if I was going to go or not. In my head, there's no question if Lindsay is going to go or not because she has to. She doesn't have a choice because I'm making her. So you just have to be in that mindset of like, it's going to get done. And if you're overwhelmed and you're like, okay, well, I originally wanted to go diamond and I'm not even Ruby yet. Okay, well, maybe that diamond goal was a little big this month and that's okay. Or maybe the goal wasn't too big, but your work ethic wasn't there this month. Either way, I want you to find a way to win this month. Okay. If it's maintaining Ruby because you went Ruby last month, get that done. I don't care how much you need, okay? If it's signing a distributor, do that. What is something that you can do that's going to make you feel proud of yourself? That's going to make you go into July like, I'm a freaking beast and nothing can stop me, right? Like Amanda and Braley and Jody, you guys all promoted last month. I bet you felt like a beast this on June 1st, right? Like you were like, I'm freaking cool. Like legit, I'm the best because that's how it feels when you do something good, when you make yourself proud. So I want you guys to end the month that way. Okay. So there is five days left, not including the rest of tonight. And I just want you to ask yourself, like, what do I want to do? What is something that you're going to do that at the end of the month, you're going to be like, I rock. I killed it. I did great. Right. Get to that point because there's a way about you that when you end the month on a win, you start the month even better. But if you end the month like, oh, I could have done so much more, then the month is hard. But when you're in momentum and you're like, okay, we're doing this, we're doing that, we're doing this, we're doing that. And then it just like happens, right? That is the fun part of this business. When you're in momentum, you just keep going. So, But the hardest part about momentum is starting it. And you can start it right now, okay? So I want to share my screen with you guys because I, how many of you on my team Put a one in the chat and Lindsay, I haven't even told you about this, but I'm going to, it's fine. Um, have, Put a one in the chat on my team. If you have used the gummies test folder and had success with it, or just put a one in the chat. If you've used it, put a two in the chat. If you've signed a customer from it. Okay, cool. I'm glad some of you guys are using it. Vanessa signed two customers. Amanda signed a customer. Okay. So this is from uh, Chelsea. Delfer, I don't remember her name. She went double diamond last month. Um, and this is these are her scripts. I switched them a little bit. I'm going to share my screen. Um, Erica, I will send this to Lindsay so she'll get it to you. It's my team um board. Um, but you guys, basically, what this is, this is we're using it for gummies host of us. Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen here and I'm going to walk you through everything. What I want you to hear about this, okay. These scripts have been insane to me. My customer's BV has never been higher. I have signed three of my last five customers have been over 110 BV. That's a lot of BV for a customer, right? Coming from a gummies host to post. And it's so easy and it's not hard upselling, okay? It's not like this intense thing. So come on, y'all know my... um screen doesn't like to share. Okay. Can you see my screen? Someone shake their head. Yes. Okay, cool. So let me open up boards. So right here, um, if on the luminary leaders, I'm going to move it up to the top so that you guys make it easier. Okay. It will now be this right here. Okay. So this folder is what I'm talking about. So what you're going to do, this is the host post that you're having people post. Summer testers needed, blah, blah, blah. Nothing fancy with pick one of the pictures, okay? I want every single person on here to get at least 10 people to post those before the end of the month, okay? What I would say is how many customers you want times that by 10. Yes, Lindsay. You're muted again. Nice. No, I was just going to say, can you add me to this board? Because I thought I was on it, but I'm not. Maybe I got myself off of it or something. Yeah, I will send it to you again. Sorry, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean for you to see that. That was my personal. That's fine. Um, So I want everyone to get at least 10 people to post this for you. If you want, I would say like 10 posts per customer that you want to sign is always my goal. Now, most of the time I sign more customers, like two to three per 10 hosts to post, but we always want more, right? Like we don't want to just cut it short. So this is the host post. This is so easy. Okay. So when someone 
comments, you're going to send them a friend request and reply to their comment doing this. If you do something different because you're on Lindsay's team and she trained you a different way, fine. Whatever you want to do to get into their inbox, okay? The first message is this. Hey, I saw you commented on the post about her swimming gummies. Would you like more info real quick? Obviously, they're going to say yes because they commented on the post, right? So then you send this. They're absolutely amazing, blah, 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 blah. How much weight are you wanting to lose if you don't mind me asking, okay? They answer. Now, here are these three options, okay? Um, Vanessa, I will be making a distributor one for Canada. I just haven't done it yet. I'll do it tonight. If you don't see it by tomorrow morning, message me and I will do it. It's because I forgot. Um, so these left right here, this options and options DT coffee upsell are for US. This is Canada. There will be one right here for distributors with Canada. Now, here is what I want to tell you, okay? If you think this person would be a good distributor or you need distributors, send this, the ones that say distributor. If you're like, I don't really think they'd be a good distributor or you really need customers and you don't need distributors, just send the customer options, okay? I know we should offer everyone the business, but sometimes a girl needs BB, okay? We'll deal with the, the distributors later, okay? Just hear me out. So if you are in the US, you're gonna click this options right here, this one. Basically what this is saying is it says, okay, we have options for every goal and budget. The minimum they're going to order is two bottles of gummies, which is 50 BB. Okay, so option one. Option two is the slimming system. This is 77 BB. Or option three is the 14 easy, I don't remember the exact name. It's the smoothie, cleanse, and gummies. Okay, this is 105 BB for $139. Okay, this I have only had one person not buy this, okay? So you send this, which option sounds best for you? Almost everyone says option three because the value is so much more, okay? So this is what almost everyone's doing. The one with the distributor adds option four, which basically gives them the $149 distributor kit, okay? Hear me out. now. Canada, I don't remember what the kits are. I know this is two bottles of gummies. This is two bottles of gummies with the Thermofide X. And this is, let me trio a different way. So it's something. It, this is a kit. These are the right prices for Canada, okay? Now, you're going to do this. You're going to get the order in, right? Now, if they do options one, or three, okay? Options one or three, you're gonna do the TFX checkout upsell. If they do option two, they're already getting the TFX. So you're gonna do the Fat Fighter upsell, okay? You're gonna get the card info in, place the order. If they say no, you're gonna send this. This is getting them a host to post, okay? I have only had one person not do option three with an upsell. One person since I've sent this script. So this is what I want to challenge you guys with. I want you to utilize this for the end of the month. I want you to get up as many gummies host to post as you can. I want you to have an, as many conversations with these scripts as you can. Because sometimes we get so in our head of like, oh my gosh, I feel so far away from my goal, right? Like Taylor, I know you're on here and you're like 400 from executive, right? And that might feel really hard right now because it might feel really big. But if you use this script, that's only four people to choose option three. That's not that bad. Four customers seems a lot more doable than 400 BB, right? So I want you guys to utilize this script. It is seriously like magic for me. My BB with customers has dramatically increased. So I want you to use this. Does anyone have questions about it? But Lindsay, I'm going to send you it right now because otherwise I will forget. Anyone have questions or want me to go over it again? Questions, comments, concerns, anything? Go over it again. Okay, one second. I'm sending the script to Lindsay because I will forget. And then Erica, you will not get it if I don't do it right now. <laughs> okay. Um, let me do this. We're going to make this 
option one or three upsell. Next. Does that make it easier for you guys? If I tell you what, like what option to use for what? Okay. So pretty much going back, you start with, saw so you comment, here's a description. You're going to send these options unless you really need distributors or you think they'd be a good distributor, then you're gonna send the distributor one. After you get their card info, you are going to upsell them every time. I don't care if it scares you. I don't care if you think they're going to say no. They will shock you and probably say yes, okay? If they choose option one or three, you're going to do the one that says option one slash three. If they say yes, that's adding thermified X. If they picked option two, you're going to send the Fat Fighters one. Yes? Um... Uh, are those options for the new systems they announced? These, none of these are new systems. These are old systems we had previously. Actually, I think the Canadian ones are new, but the US ones we've had for a while. Um, I think we either are working on, yeah, we're working on the scripts for the new systems. We will get those shortly. Um, but does anyone have any other questions or anything they want me to go over? Does everyone feel like now that we've had the Zoom, I want to know in the chat again, what are you doing this month? What are you finishing? What are you getting done? If it's the same as above, just say the same. If you change your mind, let us know. Um, because we want to cheer you on. We want you guys to end this month strong. We want to end this month strong. Um, we have green carpet coming up in a couple months and I just bought some gifts for those that are coming. Y'all, we got some cute stuff coming. I'm real freaking excited about green, car green carpet. Um, so we got a lot coming up and corporate is going to continually bring the heat. They are not going to slow down. It is going to continually get more and more exciting. Um, so just stay excited, stay doing the things you're doing. If you feel like what you're doing isn't working, reach out to someone, let us help you. Most likely you're doing the right things, just not enough of it. Just being honest, that's probably going to be the answer you get, but we'll see. Um, Erica, I pay for the subscription just because it's a tax write-off and I do. If you don't want to pay for the subscription, there is a video in the Next Level team page, search boards. There's a video about what to do. I don't remember what the answer is because I just paid for the subscription, but in next level, there's a video about it, of how to kind of like get around the subscription. Okay. Any other questions, Lindsay, Ashton, anything you guys wanna add? Lindsay, are you trying to talk? No? Yes, okay. You weren't moving. I just saw you smile. No, my mouth, like, I, cause I do these things and I forget that you're looking at me. Um, no, I was just thinking, I really love that. Cause I always like do a upsell when I, for my gummies, host of host, but it's like for the slimming system. And it, I mean, it's seamless every time, almost like nine out of time, ten, nine out of 10 times people do it, mm -hmm. but I don't enough. And I'm sure everybody, like a lot of others don't enough really upsell like these packs, like you're doing in these like big things. So I like love this. Yeah, well, and you guys, seriously, like the customers, if they do option three and they upsell, that's 138 BV, 132 because they're going to get free shipping. If you put it that way, how many customers do you need? Amanda, you need like two to maintain Emerald. Vanessa, you'd need like five or six, right? Like when you, if you sell it in big packs versus when you're selling only two packs of gummies, you're gonna need two to three times the amount of customers, which seems like a lot more work, right? So it's so easy to sell just gummies because you don't want them to tell you no, and then you don't get a customer, right? Like you'd rather just take 50 and be done, but you'd be shocked how many people are like, cool, yeah, option three, we'll do that. And that's so much more BB and promotions are gonna come so much easier. So please, please, please try these scripts, do this host to post, and I wanna know, you know what, for my team and Lindsay, I'm sure you'll do the same thing for your team. Whoever gets the most of these gummies host to post up starting now through the end of the month gets a gift for me because I want you guys to see the success from this. So whoever gets the most for the end of the month, 
Lindsay's team that's watching this, I have decided she's doing the same thing. So you're welcome. Um, <laughs> so whoever gets the most up, We'll get a gift for me. I don't know what it is. Um, and also my team, we only need 140 more BV to stay on track for our team goal. So let's get it going for the rest of the night. Um, but I hope this was helpful. Ashton, did you want to add anything before I end it? Or no, the last time you did, and then I felt bad because I ended it without telling you. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, we will see you guys next week. Please let us know if there is anything that we can do to help you. We are always here to help. We never want anyone to feel like you don't know what's going on. If you are newer, figure out, like ask us, hey, what should I be doing every day? And we'll walk you through it because we want you to succeed. Our job is to make you successful, okay? So please never feel like you're bugging us. Never feel like you're so overwhelmed that you don't know what to do because that means we're not doing our job and our job is to make sure you're comfortable, okay? Okay. We all start somewhere. We all start in a place where we're like, I don't know what the heck is going on. But when you advocate for yourself and say, I need help, we will help you and you will do good things. Lindsay, did you need to speak again? I saw you raise your hand. No. Okay. Okay. All right. We will see you guys next week. Bye everyone.